Hello, and welcome to the UVA housing webinar on selecting residential colleges. I'm Countess Hughes, the Assistant Director of Housing and Residence Life for Housing Assignments, and I'll be your hostess today. Let's get started. Our residential colleges are Residential Living Plus. You get all of the amenities of living in any residential area, plus you get special programming by our residential colleges. Our residential colleges have residents that include undergrads from all classes, first year through fourth year. So it's not an upper class area, it's not a first year area, but it's an opportunity for all students from all those classes to interact with each other. There are single and double rooms offered. Each area features great outdoor space and faculty principals who lead the college in conjunction with the student leadership available, which leads to and has an opportunity for you to be involved as a leader in your community. They're engaging programs and interactions with faculty as well. Our residential colleges include Brown Residential College, Hereford College, and the International Residential College known as the IRC. Let's get started. We'll start with Brown. Brown College is centrally located, has a strong established community, an active student governance board, and an array of programs available. In addition, they have their own dining hall, dining area, and the Newcomb Hall dining, dining area. It is located, as you can see from our map, right off of Image Street, right near the University Bookstore, and also just a stone throw away from the lawn and across the street from the Dell. There are semi-private singles and shared bathrooms, which students are responsible for cleaning their own bathrooms. I call them semi-private singles because students either walk through a student's room to get to their room or walk through a student's room to get to one of the shared bathrooms. You can see the names of the portals or the buildings in the Brown residential area and our map here on this slide. Here's one of the great outdoor areas, outdoor spaces available at Brown College. Here's a picture of one of the rooms. You see it has an adjustable bed, a three drawer dresser, a desk and a chair, and there are built-in closets in one room that both students share. Here's another example of a room in Brown College as an extra long twin bed. One of the lounges, another gathering area. Okay, next our residential college is Hereford College. Hereford College focuses on mindfulness, social awareness, and sustainability. They have student leadership via their Hereford Student Senate they have a garden, there are many hiking trails around, and some of the best views here on grounds. It is walking distance from Runk Dining Hall, the Aquatic Fitness Center, known as the AFC, the Slaughter Gym, and Scott Stadium. You can see that on our map. It's also right behind the Gooch Dillard first year area. You can see where Scott Stadium is, and it's actually not too far from the McCormick Observatory. Hereford College has mostly single rooms. It is a part of a five building area. Johnson, Norris, Malone, Whedon, and Wyburn are the five buildings in the area. Norris and Wyburn are the two buildings associated specifically with Hereford College. And you can see the Gooch Dillard first year area that's right there in blue. A beautiful view from Hereford College. An example of a single room, you can see that the furniture is again adjustable with extra long twin beds. You can have your bed up or you can adjust it down and move the furniture to other areas in the room. There's an example of a double room. Again, primarily single rooms available, but there are some double rooms available as well. Here's a picture of the Runk Dining Hall. All right, the International Residential College, the IRC. 
It is a, has a great location on central grounds. It is a vibrant and enriching community of 70% domestic and 30% international students. Has a strong student self-governance through the IRC council and committees and a, a wide variety of opportunities for engagement through peer and faculty mentor programs. And as you can see from the map, it is right next to Alumni Hall and right across from the Snyder Tennis Center and just a walk away from the central grounds from the lawn, also from Clemens Library and not too far from Lambeth Field Apartments, which is one of our on-grounds housing options and also the Lambeth Field and the Architecture School. The International Residential College, the IRC, has both single and double rooms. It has four buildings, Guathme, Munford, Hoxton, and Yen. And what you see on here are floor plans for a Yen and Ho Hoxton single and double. And this is a beautiful outside shot of the IRC. Here's an example of a student room, what yours could look like if you decorate it similar to the student. They allowed us to take a picture of their room and feature it on our website. We appreciate them for that. Here is an example of a double room. Again, you have adjustable furniture. You can either have your bed up a little or you can adjust it down. Here's an example of one of the study areas in Mumford a lounge in Mumford. Again, all of the lounge space and study areas are available to all students in the IRC. Now, enough of me, let's hear from our residential college friends about their areas. Some of the pictures and video clips you will see show pre-COVID traditions and events that we hope to offer once again after the COVID pandemic has ended. Please note, that we make sure that all of our events are safe and in compliance with university guidelines. Oh, hi there. Welcome to Brown College. Now, I know what you're thinking. What could a residential college such as this possibly do for me besides provide me with air conditioning and a large spacious room? Well, I'm here to tell you. There are plenty of material benefits to living in Brown. Your own room, Air conditioning and a central location on grounds are definitely advantages. Want to know how long it takes to get to New Cabell after waking up two minutes before class? That's right, two minutes. But we like to think that these benefits are just gravy. Brown is really about the people you meet and the community that you build. Brown College on Monroe Hill is one of three residential colleges at UVA. Unlike Hereford and the IRC, Brown does not have a single overarching ethos, but rather, changes every year with its residents and focuses on building a diverse community of individuals. Let's descend into hell. Ooh. Right. Come through. Every Halloween, Brown builds and staffs its own haunted house to raise money for a local charity chosen by Brown residents. Previous themes of hauntings included carnivals, aliens, under the sea, and how to succeed in business without really dying. Our residents get together to construct a massive undertaking of connected tents on our front lawn. During the event, Brown residents get to put on scary makeup and costumes to scare fellow residents, classmates, professors, and community members. Behind the scenes, it's a gigantic Brown community effort and a ton of fun to put together. Although hauntings is a community-wide event, Brown College frequently hosts banquets for its residents. These banquets are always stocked with food and residents get together to unwind after a busy day, whether that be by chatting with each other or by playing Mario Kart. Oftentimes, the food provided is from popular food trucks in the Charlottesville area. Even with the pandemic, we are able to safely host these banquets outdoors with masks and social distancing. Banquets are always a great way to meet other residents, and who doesn't love free food? The last event of the year that Brown College hosts is a carnival in the spring. There are many fun activities, including moon bounces, a dunk tank, and a cotton candy machine. 
Carnival is a great way to end the school year and one of the many great reasons to apply to Brown College. Personally, uh, I'm from a small town, so Hereford is very green compared to a lot of the rest of the places on grounds. Uh, you know, right now we're on the Hereford lawn, which is just a nice, you know, big, huge open green space. Uh, we got like the, the Blue Ridge Mountains in the background there, which I can see from my dorm room. Uh, you know, we have frisbee here all the, all the time. You know, I'm gonna throw uh, the football with some friends in, in just a few minutes. Uh, we got some hiking trails just around the corner. Uh, it hooks up with the Nirvana, um, just over there. I really appreciate having all the space and all the green stuff right here. After a long day of classes, as I'm walking back through the Hereford Trail, I can just feel myself becoming more relaxed and just all that busy hustle bustle of university life, of coursework, homework, just fading away and melting away into the distance as I get closer to Hereford. You know, you gotta appreciate everything here, you know, appreciate the uh, outdoor setting, you appreciate the lawn here, appreciate the architecture, you know, the resources you have and um, the people associated with it, you know, I definitely love it a lot. You know, plenty of like diversity in terms of like, you know, academics, uh, ethnicity, cultural backgrounds. I think it's really nice that Harvard is able to have uh, people from all different years. I think it's really good for uh, first years and transfer students because then they're able to meet a lot of different people from a lot of different years and get exposure to different types of people in a way that you wouldn't just from like clubs or being in a like a first year dorm. So the dynamic between the you know the first years and the upperclassmen really benefits benefits the first years because they have people with experience they can look up to and get you know get some really good advice from. And then also it keeps it fresh for the upperclassmen because they get to they get that perspective of the first years um, and you know that that you know that fresh you know new outlook um, on UVA. One of my favorite things about Hereford is the fact that the community is so diverse. Um, I think that we're one of the most diverse residential areas on grounds, and I really like that, especially the international presence. You'd think that because we aren't the IRC, we don't have that, but we definitely do. I filmed things with Hova, and you know, that was it's a pretty nice uh, cultural dialogue. I like, you know, that's, you know, I get to speak and um, definitely listen to what other people think. It's Hereford takes very good care of me in terms of feeding me. <laughs> I don't go hungry here. <laughs> and I also really like the element of student government that we get to enjoy here at Hereford. It's definitely been a big part of my life, uh, being involved in the Student Senate. And I think it's a really great opportunity for people to learn, grow, and kind of feel out what it's like to be community leaders. If we the students want something or we value something, we are able to shape what we want Hereford to look like. Definitely try applying. It's a great place to live. Welcome to the International Residential College, otherwise known as the IRC. IRC. IRC Welcome to the International Residential College. At the IRC, you'll find diverse and engaged students from all walks of life. 
Here, you'll encounter people from 29 different countries from all around the world and 23 different states from across the U.S. Here, you'll find a home away from home. With so much diversity and so many different cultures, you will definitely find something or someone that reminds you of home. Student initiative is the essence of the IIT. Residents can create artistic projects such as the Welcome Wall, participate in celebrations of all cultures, and enjoy food from every corner of the world right here on the continent. All of our programs are the result of dedicated efforts by the IRC Student Council, RAs, and enthusiastic students such as yourself. Community driven by interest and passion. We are a part of the fabric that is UVA. Every year, students are making new additions to our values of inclusivity, intellectual discourse, acceptance, and multiculturalism. We hope to see you soon at the IRC. Now that you have heard from our residential college folks, I'm sure that you're excited to know how to apply. If you're a current resident, of a residential college. That application open on January 5th and you can apply to your same area. Don't miss the deadline on January 28th. If you're excited about applying to a residential college, that application open January 5th as well and is also due on January 28th. Make sure you complete any supplemental application materials that are required. Hereford and IRC have their supplemental applications as a part of the housing portal. Brown College has a separate supplemental application. Make sure you complete all of the application information that you need and that you do that by the January 28th deadline. Things to remember about our residential colleges is Hereford and Brown Colleges have a meal plan requirement. All three colleges have an activity fee that is used to support both the traditional and the new programs that are provided specifically by the residential colleges. And as always, entering into a UVA housing agreement is identical to signing an apartment lease. It is binding and it is legal. Applications submitted by potential new residents are reviewed by the committees within each residential college. Once a student is accepted to a residential college, rooms are assigned by the housing assignments staff. Next steps. So if you're still pondering where you would like to live in the next academic year, 2021-22, please make sure to check out all of our housing options on our housing website. If you're thinking about off-grounds, check out the off-grounds housing website to see what options may be available for you off-grounds. Also, don't forget to view some of our upcoming webinars. February 2nd, there'll be one specific to a rising second year housing option. February 9th, we'll talk about our other upper class areas, our apartments and our hallway style residence halls, our apartments being Vice Bond, Copley, Faulkner and Lambeth. And then JMW, which stands for Johnson Malone Wheaton, which are traditional hallway style buildings that are available for upper class students. And February 16th will be our off-grounds housing options webinar followed by a virtual off-grounds housing fair on February 17th from noon to two. If you have any questions, pop into my Zoom office hours and feel free to ask me questions about housing room selection or how, what options are available to you. Those office hours are from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Tuesdays and Fridays in January and February. And you can see the dates on the slide. If you're interested and you have questions, more questions about our residential colleges, you can take a look at their, the websites that they have for their areas, or you can contact a uh, college, one of the college principals. Um, they also have contact information on their websites as a way to figure out 
what you need to know and find out more information about your specific college. If you have general questions, please feel free to contact us through our website. There's our website, housing.virginia.edu. Give us a call, talk with your RA or your senior resident if you are a student who lives on grounds already and be sure to join us for one of our other webinars. Thank you very much for joining us and have a great day.